So this is from the Exelos uh, sample paper one. You can try the sample paper two on your own. Uh, we'll be sending that to you. We'll send you both papers actually. So question number seven. Identify the missing word in the following sentence. A service is a means of enabling value co-creation by facilitating blank that customers want to achieve. First, the outcome. Outcome, yes, correct. Very good. Outcome. Okay, then. Um, just give me a moment. I'll scroll down to another question. Number 24, you can read it yourself. Consumer. What about C, the cost of provision and the cost of improving? Hmm. You see, it's a consumer, huh? first of all. So yeah. you should imagine you to yourself to be consumer, then which one will you think? Will you think about cost of provisioning it? You're not the provider. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If okay, I am so provider, I will. Mm -hmm. Okay, the cost is removed by the service? Yes, correct. Yes. So the cost removed by the service and the cost imposed by the service. So as a consumer, you'll be thinking more about or concerned more about which costs are removed and which um, costs are imposed. Yeah, costs are imposed. Because if the cost removed is more than the cost imp imposed, then it's benefit for you as a consumer. If the service provider is giving more cost, imposing more cost and um, not removing much cost, then it is not good, isn't it? So it's like that. Of course, it can be the cost of software and hardware, but this is not the, the real, the only answer. Uh, the price of the service and the cost of creating the service. The cost of creating the service is the provider's cost. The price of the service, of course, yes. As a consumer, you will be concerned with the price of the service, how much you have to pay for it. But the second part is, uh, uh, so, so this is uh, if I were to, this is okay, but this is not okay. Yeah, This is fine and this is fine. Therefore, B is the correct answer. Provisioning, no. This is the provider's uh, concern. Cost of improving the service is also the provider. The provider will improve the service. Outcomes, yes, the outcomes will be improved by the consumer. Okay. Cost of software, yeah, this is okay, this is okay. But there may be other things also, cost of people, yeah, that is not mentioned here, therefore, uh, B is more correct than D. So the question is not difficult. The, for example, here we have to clearly see the keyword in the question. Then it becomes easier. Yeah? Okay, let's look at the other one. Uh, the next one is. Number 34. So outcome is always a result. See. Outcome is always the result. Yes, yes. Very good. So answer is C. Yeah, indeed uh, C. Hmm. This A is, by the way, an output. Yeah, deliverables yeah, are output. Perfect. Hmm. This one functionality we haven't seen this yet. We will we're going to learn about it afterwards. Configuration of resources. Um, by the way, this is um, you don't have to know this for the exam. This is the definition of a product. A product is a collection of resources. A product is made up of hardware, software, yeah, uh, 
connectivity and so on database and all that therefore it's a configuration of an organization's resources and functionality we'll look at it afterwards functionality is known as utility a utility of a service a website offers functionality to buy tickets so the functionality or the utility of the service is buying tickets So in this case, the answer is uh, C. And the last, we got two more questions and we'll be done. Question number 39. I believe it's a service offering. It's a service offering. Yeah, a service provider describes a package that includes a laptop with software licenses and support. What is this package an example of? It's a service offering. We are assuming that it is being sold to the consumer. They're going to own it. Yeah, but uh, it could be goods, access to resources or service actions. So anyway, we have the common term for them, service offering. So that's the correct answer. It's not value. Value is... Um, Perceived importance of something, perceived benefit of something, outcome, we know that, result for a stakeholder. Warranty, we haven't looked at warranty yet. Warranty is like a promise. Right? It's a promise made. Okay, then uh, one more question. The last question is number 40. Uh, no, sorry, 40 is not covered yet. Hmm. It should be assurance. It should be assurance. Yes, yes. Uh, this is a bonus question for you people to try. <laughs> Number 40. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can see. Yeah, it should be assurance. Yeah. So tangible, intangible, deliverable. No, it can't be that because that's. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, Hafifa, I'm also noting your answers. Uh, very good, thank you. And um, assurance, yes, the assurance that the product will meet the specified requirements, agreed requirements, this is correct. A possible event that could cause harm or loss or make it more difficult to achieve. What is this term called? What is the, the term for option C? A possible it's event? A risk. It's a risk, actually. Yeah, C is risk. Functionality offered by a product or service to meet a particular need. It's utility, right? That? Utility, that is utility. So, by the way, in the exam, all the options are valid options, meaning they have some meaning. They will not have options which are which do not exist in ITIL. So, it's it's possible to learn a lot by reading the other options also. Okay. 